this video is all about queries queries in probably the most basic sense using basic operators trying to learn what they are now we're going to start off simple and use a query based upon one table and one table only so we don't have to think about relationships at this point so what we want to do first of all is we're going to query this table to try and find all the students who borrowed less than a thousand pounds if you're not sure what a query is a query is when we're Ser basically searching the database for a set criteria, a set bit of information. Um, you might be able to look through and find it out quite easily, but imagine you've got hundreds, possibly thousands of records. It's a way to search and condense and gather information. So to create a query in this version of Access, you click on Create and you go to Query Wizard. Then you want a simple Query Wizard. and you make sure you're on the student details table. If you've got relationships and you're using multiple tables, you can bother with this, but for now, we're focused on one table. And we want to include first name, surname, full address, and obviously we want to see the amount they have borrowed. So we've got first name, surname, and then we'll put in street, town, postcode, and loan amount. Then we'll go for next. And you don't have to worry about anything else here for now. Click on next. Um, we'll give our query a more. And it means more than what we have there. So let's see. Um, you can call it, say, for instance, student borrowing. Now we don't want to see the query because we're not finished yet. We're not finished looking for specific information so let's uh, modify the design and click into finish so it brings up all our information you can see we've got forename surname street town postcode and loan so what we're looking for here are students who have borrowed less than a thousand pounds so that is in loan details that is the value of the loan on this line here, the one below below show is where you input your criteria. So we're looking for less than. The symbol for less than oh, went into the wrong place there. Symbol for less than. On the line below show, on the line called criteria is key beside M, so it's your less than symbol. Think about it for math, so you've got less than. So you want people who have borrowed less than a thousand. So quite simply, all you'd have to do is type in less than a thousand. In the question, it only asks for forename, surname, street, town, and postcode, so we don't want to show the value. We don't want to show the amount. So you untick your box, and then you run. And that simply shows you all the students who have borrowed less than a thousand pounds. If you wanted to check it, just to be sure it's right, you can tick the box. And it will show you here that everyone's borrowing is less than a thousand pounds. But for the sake of the question, we don't. And that was a short, simple query using the less than feature. Obviously, if that was less than, then greater than would be the opposite way but we'll do more examples to follow um, thanks a lot if you've enjoyed it like subscribe thanks a lot